Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be creating a new wireless LAN on a Cisco wireless LAN controller. We'll be covering the topics shown on the screen. Let's get started. In our virtual topology, we have a switch connected to our virtual wireless LAN controller, and we have our access point on port 1-2, and we have our management network connected on port 1-3. The management and access ports are configured on VLAN 10 and our controller is configured as a trunk. We'll be using VLAN 10 as our management network and we'll create a VLAN interface with our network. Next, we'll configure a DHCP pool for our clients. Let's test network connectivity to our wireless LAN controller from the switch. Our controller's IP address is 192.168.10.10 and we have connectivity. Let's jump over to the controller and create our WLAN. From the main screen, We'll navigate over to the WLANs tab and create our new SSID. We'll give it a name of Wireless Lab. In the General tab, we'll select Enable to enable our SSID. For our radio policy, we'll select All Radios. We'll select the Management Interface and make sure the broadcast SSID is enabled and click apply. The interface selected here is the network that your stations will be placed on. And to see the management interface configuration, click on controller, interfaces, management, and you can see the address is on the same subnet that we created on our switch and the VLAN ID and our primary DHCP server. And we're back to our WLAN configuration. Under the security tab, select WPA2. Under the parameters, select WPA2 policy and WPA2 encryption AES. Under authentication, select PSK. PSK will allow us to use a pre-shared key. In this box, type in your password. And click apply. In the advanced tab, we'll require DHCP address assignment and you can also overwrite the DHCP server. Click apply and save your configuration. And now we're ready to test. I am using a virtual machine connected to a real wireless USB adapter for testing. We can now search for our wireless SSID and connect to it. We are now connected to the wireless lab SSID. Let's check our IP address and test connectivity back to the switch. Our IP address on the virtual machine is 192.168.10.20. And we can ping our switch 
at 10.5. Now let's go back to our controller and verify that connection. From the monitor page, click on clients and we can see our client with IP address of 10.20 and the MAC address ending with 0 Delta Echo 6. And we can see the same 0 Delta Echo 6 back on our virtual computer. If you click on the MAC address, we can see more details about the connected station. We can see the SSID it's connected to, and we can verify that it's using WPA2 with AES. And back on the monitor page, you can see the number of clients connected to the WLAN and the total number of clients connected to the controller. Now let's jump over to the console and verify the wireless computer. From the console, you can type the command show client summary. This will show us our connected clients. And if you want to see more detailed information, we can copy the MAC address. And now type show client detail and paste the MAC address. And this will give us more detailed information. We can see the station's IP address, what access point it's connected to, the WLAN it's associated with, and other useful information. That's been it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you in the next one.